We move on to the question eight, which is one of the simpler uh, question in, in the part A. It's an easy and pretty straightforward one. It's about reciprocal functions. So it's about the example phi. Let's get on with it. Here we have the equation of the reciprocal function. We need to fill it up. See, A is unknown, H is unknown, K is unknown. Only this X will remain as it is, and this is Y or G of X. We have the graph. We need to find the values for this H and K. How do we do it? Here, the denominator obviously cannot be equal to zero. We know that whenever, say, for example, X minus three is there, when the denominator X is three, what happens? X minus three equals zero, X equals three. If you put three as X, the denominator is zero, which is undefined. So whenever the denominator is zero, it's undefined. That means it's a vertical asymptote there that, that says no part of the graph can touch this. It can come very close, but it can't be this particular value at minus four in this case. Okay. So now here, this part is very easy. H equals wherever the vertical asymptote is there. It's at minus four. Okay. That's it. What about the k value? k is the horizontal asymptote. You can see here, this is the horizontal line. Here, there is no part of the gra graph touching it. It's basically like a cut. You can see this can go until over here, but not touching over here. Whereas even the vertically at minus four, but it can't touch over here. So the k value over here is minus two. k is equal to minus two. Now we can get this, this. But how do we find A? Look at this given equation. This is the equation of the reciprocal function. Y equals A by X minus, let me write what is H. It's minus four plus K is minus two. Here, we can find A if we know Y and X. Don't you agree? If you substitute these two value, only A will be unknown. So how about you choose any point? Over here they have given this point already minus three and three. Otherwise you can choose other points. Say for example, this point at zero, it's nearly half or something. But already they have given an easy point. Let's just choose that. So here X and Y. So substitute the Y value. What is Y? It's three. That is equal to A is unknown divided by X is minus three. What is the H value? It is minus of minus four. We have already written, sorry. It'll be minus of minus plus four then minus two. You can directly put this in calculator or you can solve it. So what you can do is take this minus two to the other side. It'll be phi equals a by one or a equals phi. So this is the value of a. How you can directly solve this in calculator, I'll show you now. Take out your calculators. All you need to do is substitute this three equals a is the only unknown value. So consider it to be alpha x, the unknown variable minus three plus four and over here we have minus two shift and solve press equal to now you get the answer phi so a is phi directly now just rewrite this equation here g of x remains as it is that is equal to a value is phi divided by what is x like that only it's a variable minus sorry minus minus it becomes plus i'll write directly plus if this is minus, when you write it over here, it'll be plus. But this doesn't change. It'll be minus 2 itself, the horizontal. So this is your final equation. You can see all these steps are there. Yeah? And the final equation is phi by x plus 4 minus 2. That's, it. That's how we do this. Here you can try one more problem. Please do it by yourselves. Pause the video and do it by yourselves. I will do it over here. But before that, Look here, there's no point given directly. So we can consider this point as which is mentioned that is minus two comma eight. So X value is minus two, Y value is eight. What about the horizontal asymptote and the vertical one as well? Horizontal is two, vertical is in between. See over here somewhere. That is between zero and minus two, it's minus one, okay? So now let me write over here. A is unknown, we need to solve for it. H and K, see the formula is given, but you need to remember it's A by X minus H. Or just remember X is the vertical asymptote point. Plus K, even if you miss this, it's fine. You can write anything. 
if you want you can write w and uh, m and n anything but you should know what this signifies x is the vertical asymptote k is the horizontal asymptote here all you need to do is uh, and this is equal to y equals okay now we know h equals how much minus 1 k is equal to 2 let's substitute this x y and all h and k and find a value so what you do is put the y value that is 8 equals a divided by x value as minus 2 and this is minus of minus 1 it will be plus 1 i'm directly writing it and this is plus 2 now we will take this to the other side it will be 10 sorry not 10 it will be 6 8 minus 2 is 6 equals a by minus 1 take this to the other side be minus 6 equals a so that is the answer so a value is minus 6 h is minus 1 k is minus 2 now all you have to do is substitute all the knowns keep x and g of x as it is so all you do is substitute minus 6 divided by x minus of minus 1 will be plus 1 plus 2 this will be the final answer here it's g of x that's it you can see that will be the final answer minus 6 by x plus 1 plus 2 this is how you can easily solve this problem just try to remember the formula remember this formula and whenever you have been given choose appropriate point and solve that's it for this uh, question see you in the next question